So back in the early 2000s when this Hall of Fame was coming together, my father was part of that inaugural group. I believe he served on the administrative committee. And I remember him telling me about the Nutley Hall of Fame coming together. And I remember saying to him, what's Nutley need a Hall of Fame for? Do other towns have Hall of Fames? At the time, New Jersey didn't even have a Hall of Fame. I said to him, I could see the Sports Hall of Fame, everybody knows about the athletes, but a Town Hall of Fame, I don't get it. He said, well, listen, that's just the point. With the athletes, everybody knows about them, but there's so many people in Nutley who have done incredible things, had just wonderful accomplishments, and people don't know about it. So I said, okay. After my father's passing in 2006, I started to serve on the administrative committee for a period of time. And I got to see firsthand just the tremendous quality of the people there are in Nutley, and we just didn't know about it. So I was really in awe, and my father would love to know for me to say, well, Dad, you were right, but he was right. And that is why when I received the letter about being inducted into the Hall of Fame, I was really taken back. As a matter of fact, I had to read it over a few times because I just couldn't understand it. So I made two phone calls after I finally absorbed that I was going to be inducted. My first call was to Sam Carella. So I called Sam. <clears throat> she congratulated me as soon as uh, she answered the phone. I said, Sam, listen, I'm not looking for any compliments here. I just want to ask a simple question. Why am I going in? So Sam was, Sam was very complimentary and, and said some very kind things. I said, listen, Sam, thank you so much. I don't get it, but still, thank you. My second call was to my mother. So I called my mom and I said, hey, listen, I just, I just want to let you know that I'm being inducted into the Nutley Hall of Fame. And she said, that is so wonderful. I'm so proud of you. Now I have two sons in the Hall of Fame because my brother John is in the Nutley Sports Hall of Fame. And uh, she said, I just can't be happier. And she said, uh, by the way, why are they putting you in? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so we all had the same question, but uh, here I am. So in, in what I do on television, I have a chance to be around a lot of people who are somewhat famous and accomplished and so on. And when you're in the green room of these television stations, sometimes you have some small talk with other guests that are sitting around. And usually somebody will say to me, you know, where are you from? And I'll say, I'm from Nutley, New Jersey. And they'll say, oh, where'd you grow up? Nutley, New Jersey. Where's your office? Nutley, New Jersey. Now, for, for all of us as Nutleyites, that's certainly not unusual. But from people outside of Nutley, it's really an odd answer to say, well, you've been in Nutley your entire life? Yes, that's exactly true. I have been in Nutley my entire life. And as a matter of fact, when uh, I wrote my book, which just, just came out this year, the beginning of 2019, Positive Financial Karma, it's available on Amazon <laughs> and barnesandnoble.com. <laughs> Shameless plug. But anyway, uh, the first line of that book, I say, other than my four years away at college, I have lived in Nutley, New Jersey my entire life. I feel safe here. And that is really true. And I feel it more than ever, that protection that Nutley provides to everyone. You know, when I'm on TV, I have a tendency to provide opinions. That's what I do. And although I try to stay away from politics as much as I can, sometimes you get pulled into it. And we are such a divided country 
that needless to say, almost no matter what I say, there's hate tweets out there and a lot of unkind things said about me. And I really brush that off. But the thing about Nutley is, I have never once, not a single time, received anything but encouragement from my fellow Nutleyites. And there are times where I'm places, not that I'm any big star, but there are times where people recognize me. Strangers will come up to me and say, hey, I see you on TV and you're great, or whatever the case is. And that's really nice. But the real thrill for me is when I'm walking in someplace like ShopRite <laughs> and someone says to me, hey, keep it up. Glad to see what you're doing for our town. That really means a lot to me much more than having someone come up to me who I don't know and offer some type of compliment. And that is why when I started my practice, my accounting firm, I started it in Nutley. Because I knew instinctually that the people of Nutley would support me and they would help me to try to be successful. And I never forgot that. And that's why I'm still here. And with many of the same clients that I've had from 25 years ago, that's how much Nutley means to me. It's a wonderful place. And it was the same thing after my father's passing when we started the Mike Eltrude Foundation to try to make a difference with people who are suffering from melanoma. We started it here. And all these years later, 13 of the efforts of the Mike Geltrude Foundation, it is still supported just as much now as it was then, of people from Nutley who want to see their own succeed in no matter what they do. And that's really what has made Nutley, I think, the kind of community it is. So as we celebrate the accomplishments of these inductees here. Really, to me, this is about Nutley. These are the types of people that Nutley produces and supports. And that's why, more than anything else, that my father was right about why Nutley should have a Hall of Fame. It's because it's such a special community, and it really develops special people.